Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Gala again and I'm really happy to see you at my channel. Please watch this video till the end and subscribe. It's going to be interesting, informative and important not just for me but also for my country who is now in war. And today I have decided to make this video because I felt already ready to make this video and to talk a little bit about fashion and vintage during the war. I look very optimistic, smiling, and I do even have makeup, but uh, for this month, it's the first time that I did it, actually. When we all woke up in the morning of 24 February, we have realized that our life will never be as before. two weeks I was not even able to talk and make some videos I was speechless because you cannot imagine that in in 21st century one country can just like that in the middle of the morning five in the morning just attack an independent country because we do have our language because we do have our, our choice because we are European and we have European values it's something that you cannot imagine and a lot of people could not believe it because you just cannot uh, realize these things, you know? They cannot put in a puzzle in your head. People are dying and Kharkiv, Mariupol and Chernigiv, these are big cities on the eastern border with Russia, are absolutely destroyed and being destroyed every day and uh, live a humanitarian catastrophe. Mariupol, what has been to the city and what is now to the city, is destroyed completely and people are just surviving and they don't have water they stay in the basements for for weeks and they go out uh, from the basements just once per day to drink water from puddles and they come back in the basements because russians keep bombing and bombing our border cities Yesterday they had been bombing our city. Uh, our city is called Lviv and it's located um, very close to the border with Poland, aka with NATO, but still they have thrown six bombs on it and um, <sighs> one just flew. My boyfriend went to pick wood for the fireplace and just upon the small wooden building where we keep our wood there was this racket and then a huge huge uh, bada boom even though in this part of ukraine we feel more or less safe because we don't have soldiers here they all are stuck on the eastern border but we do feel the danger because they throw bombs on us that was flying in the downtown to bomb uh, an object that they think is dangerous which is not because they do bomb hospitals uh, schools and another civil objects like they did in syria actually it's horrifying and uh, it's been uh, I think 10 days that I'm not crying when I talk about it because I'm already used to it. Used to this uh, genocide of Ukrainian nation just because we want to be Ukrainian and we don't want to be a part of Russia. So I could have been talking about war for all uh, 15, 20 minutes of my video, but I think we need something more positive and something more inspiring. So I have decided to talk a little bit how my business is going, how I am doing and how Ukrainian designers are doing and the whole world fashion industry is doing now. So when the war has started, I have realized that my business is dead all this Chanel, all this stuff at one moment became senseless and you just cannot on your Instagram offer uh, an expensive bag and say oh definitely when you go to Paris you need this bag because you're gonna shine bright how can you shine bright when you want to survive and you want to live no uh, it's cynic and it's uh, cruel and it's evil because we all understand that this luxury goods are not so important when people are surviving the only things people do need now is uh, food and basic clothes yes some fashion industry has started working and a lot of ukrainian brands and shops 
to continue work and they sell because they need to pay taxes for us, for the country to be able to work and to live. So you can see me now, I'm wearing a very patriotic outfit. I do have blue pants and this yellow uh, top and I'm dressed, I'm not so high, so it's not always easy to see, but I'm dressed in the color uh, of my country, of my national flag. And this top that I really adore because the quality of jersey is incredible is by Ukrainian designer called Bobkova Official. I'm gonna keep the link here and, and there's one more incredible brand which is called Gunia Project. I do adore them. They make different ceramics and uh, clothes uh, with the ethnic motif. They also work and a lot of them move their production here to the western part of Ukraine which is safer here because we don't have soldiers but still we have bombs. There's also such a brand as Ruslan Baginsky. It's a world-known brand uh, doing hats. All of the Ukrainian brands who keep working also the same thing with the Ukrainian, very famous brand who a lot of people consider it to be American, but it's Ukrainian. It's called Daily Sleeper. It's a loungewear, which I adore. And uh, who else? A lot of small local brands, which I, for example, now needing uh, some new clothes for spring, basic clothes. I'm not talking about high fashion. Nobody needs high fashion now. Uh, in Ukraine, but I try to buy from a little local brands to support them, to give them an opportunity to work. If you are able to support Ukrainian designers now, it would be really great because our economy, even during the war, needs to work and needs to pay taxes so people can uh, receive food, water and all the necessary to be able to survive in this horrible things that are happening in my country now. So if we talk about uh, what is happening in world fashion, the world fashion community is really supporting Ukraine and I am very happy, for example, to see one of my favorite stylists and personalities, Rachel Zoe, in all of her uh, stories on the Instagram, posting how she supports Ukraine and how she donates to Ukraine. And it's really heartbreaking to see how the whole world fashion community supports us and it helps us. Balenciaga made some sweatshirts in Ukrainian colors. Demna Gvasalia, who is George Georgian, they have made a, a huge declaration that they support Ukraine. Hadid sisters uh, appeared in Ukrainian colors. May Musk, mom of Elon Musk, started wearing, she was always actually wearing Ukrainian brands. For example, she loves Jamema brand. I'm also gonna mention this brand, it's an incredible brand. Ukrainian becomes a brand. Being a Ukrainian becomes a brand. And I'm really proud to be Ukrainian. What is also great is that a lot of brands, for example, uh, LVMH Group quitting Russia uh, and Russia stays with no Hermes, no Chanel, no Louis Vuitton, which makes me really happy. But still there are brands who are still working in Russia. For example, I'm extremely sad about one of my favorite brands like Maxmara. And I was about to throw my few things of Maxmara that I have, but I really adore because they keep selling in Russia. The same thing with Giorgio Armani if we talk about fashion. And I hope all the luxurious brands will leave this country very soon. Fashion is a tool. Fashion is a tool of well-being and Ukraine now is united as never, but also it makes us feel warmer and happier when you see how the world fashion community supports us. I'm really proud of my country and I'm sure we're gonna win even though Ukraine is like that and Russia is like that. We're gonna eat them slowly, but really technically Europe supports us and the world supports us and the fashion world supports us and I am honestly not sad at all that my business is affected. Now my biggest dream is not to start selling again and working again, but my biggest dream is that Ukraine becomes free again, that I can live in my homeland and feel free, keep talking my language and being a part of the European and civilized society and not just a part of uh, uh, uncivilized world who attacked my country. And I thank you very much if you watch this video till the end and if you are with me and I promise to keep doing this YouTube even though it's not so easy for me during this war time. I'm sending you all of my love, my kisses and glory to Ukraine. Slava Ukraini! Bye bye!